Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here if you try to see we have implemented a single animation. So we for the card we have implemented an animation. Now my requirement is so what I want to do is I want to animate this header and I want to animate this footer and also I want to animate this body separately. So as I already told you in our previous video, we can add a separate trigger for this one and we can add a separate trigger for this one and also we can add a separate trigger for the footer also. But this will become a complex and all those things. So from Angular 4 or I didn't remember exactly. So, so from then onwards, we have got a new one, new method that is query method. By using this query method, we can also animate the individual parts of this component also. Let's try to see how we can do it. For example, let's say that we are able to animate this one, right? Now I want to animate this header part. So if I want to animate this header part, what I can do is, so here upon enter, okay? So here I can remove this one all. I will remove for the time being. And here we can use a query method. So which should be imported from the angular slash animations. So this query header, it is something, something similar like document.query selector. Here you can give a CSS selectors, whatever the CSS selectors we are having, we can give all those selectors. And in this query, what I want to do, I want to animate this header, right? So you can animate this header like card hyphen header. So this is the uh, thing I want to animate it. And here you can write the array and you can write all the CSS. So here I am using the style opacity zero and transform translate y of minus 100% and I am trying to animate it to 300 millisecond fine. So this is a simple animation which I am trying to do. So here what I am trying to do I am taking a query of card header and for this card header I am applying a style opacity of zero and translate y this time vertically I am trying to do it and I am animating it afterwards. So now here let's try to click on the show card now if I try to show you see now we are able to achieve the same thing, but this time only the card header has been animated. Now what I want to do, I want this entire card to slide horizontally and afterwards this card header has to come. So for this one, we already had the code, right? So let's try to add it here at the down. So here I am adding the code which we have it. Now if you try to see, let's see the animation. Now if I click here, if I click here, so this one is something like the card header is coming and afterwards sliding is coming. So this should not happen. So we know that these animations will be occurred phase by phase. So first the sliding has to appear. Okay. The sliding has to appear. Then afterwards the card header has to animate. Now if you try to see here, we will be able to see the same animation. But this time if you try to see first the card header is there animating and also and afterwards this card header is coming. I will try to show you by using something like 3000 milliseconds. Then you will be able to observe very clearly. So three seconds. If I try to click on this card, see the card header is there and afterwards this card header is coming slightly. Now this card header should not be happen like this. So this card header first time it should not be there. And afterwards after animation is completed, this should come from the top. So for this one, what we can do is so here I can do again a query of card header for this card header. I am trying to do it and here I can apply a style of opacity zero. So for the first time it should be opacity zero. Then afterwards it can, it can animate it. Now let's see whether we can able to achieve this one or not. Now this time card header is not there and afterwards card header is coming. So this is the animation which I want it. Now, if I try to make this one as 300 milliseconds like this, 300 milliseconds. Now you'll be able to see the animation much clear. Now, if I try to animate it. Yeah. So now let's see here. See like this. I need to have. Now, if I want to animate the footer also separately, then what I need to do. So we can use the query again. So here we can use the query again. So here at the bottom, I will try to use the query for the card footer let's copy let's paste it card dot card footer and in this one i can have like this so we can animate uh, what i can say is so for the card footer we need to animate it right 
so style so here i will animate with 100 percent okay we'll try to make it and afterwards i will try to do the animate of 300 milliseconds so now i am trying to animate the card footer now if you try to see here so here this c if you are able to see all the things are coming so here out of the card header and card footer these all things are happening now if you try to observe carefully when we are turning trying to learn about the angular animations First, this card header will make opacity zero, and afterwards, 300 milliseconds, it will animate. And after the after completion of this one, so card header will animate. After completion of this one, this card footer will be animated. Now, I will show you the clearly with 3000 milliseconds. Now, you will be able to observe very easily. Now, if you try to see here, now now you here you can able to see card header is coming. And after some time, card footer is coming. So that means animation is coming phase by phase. So if you want to make the animations appear uh, happen at a time, means what we can do? As you guessed is correct. So we can use a group method, right? So I can wrap these all the things in a group method. So whichever the things you need to be happen parallelly, you can group these all the things. I will group these all the query methods into this one. So this group should be imported again from the angular animation so that one you should need to be animated uh, imported now if you try to see here when i click on this one see all the animations is happening at a time now you'll be able to see i will try to make it again uh, 3000 then you'll be able to see it very clearly now if i want to make this animation see all the animations are happening at a time so when i click here when i click here See, all the animations are happening at a time. So this is how using the query method, we can do the single, single parts of the animation in a component. So like this, we can make it. So by using the query method, so just like the query selector it is. So just by using the query selector, we can animate different parts of the component element. So this is how we'll be doing it. Now I will commit this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 46 video hyphen 46 and i will commit this code query animation method so this is the query animation method let me complete uh, commit this one and i will publish this branch also so whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so we already have a github repository url the link will be provided in the description below of this uh, video so whatever the video you are trying to watch it you can go to this particular video branch and you can uh, refer to the code watch what I am trying to explain in the video. So this is all about the query method which is very pretty useful. Previously we used to uh, write different different triggers for the different components. But here by using the query we can control the different parts of this uh, element. Hope you understood about this query method. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.